before days of rioting, looting, and arson rocked the city of Detroit in the worst outbreak of urban racial violence this year. Entire blocks of homes become infernos. At least 36 are killed, more than 2,000 injured, and damage topped the half billion mark. Governor Romney declares a state of emergency, requests federal troops, and 5,000 paratroopers reinforce the National Guard, state and city police. The city's industry and business are severely affected, and a tight curfew is ordered in the motor center. A besieged city of guerrilla warfare, sniper groups use day and night hit and run tactics before tanks move in to curb their window and rooftop barrage. Wreckage is everywhere. Civil rights leaders make a joint condemnation of the violence and call for an end to the rioting. President Johnson, using firm words, urges the nation's citizens to support the maintenance of law and order. I know that the vast majority of Negroes and whites are shocked and are outraged by them. Pillage, looting, murder, and arson have nothing to do with civil rights. They are criminal conduct. Your president calls upon all of our people in all of our cities to join in a determined program to maintain law and order, to condemn and to combat lawlessness in all of its forms, and firmly to show by word and by deed, that riot, looting, and public disorder will just not be tolerated.